back. Libra, this is going to be your reading for the month of June. It is a love reading, you versus them. So Libra, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, and next steps are. And then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, next steps are. Um, it is love, but keep in mind that love can resonate in many different areas. It could be a current partner, an ex, family, friends, you name it. Um, take it as it resonates. not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And so, Libra, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Overall energy uh, for you for the month is the Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords. Um, so this is the sexual tarot. It has a little bit different meaning than a traditional tarot, but in general, I would say the seven of cups is somewhat of a confusing energy. Okay. Um, there might be a lot of communication back and forth, but it's like the truth isn't being shown in a clear light. Does that make sense? So there might be some fogginess around it. Uh, in the love arena or there might be untruthful communication going on this month just to be very blunt with you whether that's you doing it or the person you're dealing with so on a general energy level that's how I feel now on, in this deck there is also a depiction of somebody dominating the other person so I feel like one of the parties in this relationship is clearly more dominating than the other one and Libra, this is showing up as a masculine energy. So for females that are dealing with a male, I feel like this is, might be the person you're dealing with. Um, male Libras, I feel like this is you. But keep in mind, it's general. So it can be either or. Um, now, in the person you're dealing with overall energy, it looks really good. You have the sun here and the six of wands. So, um, I feel like this person's in a much more optimistic frame of mind. They might be getting some uh, attention or accolades this month, or they might just simply be trying to get your attention, Libra, okay? I feel like um, sometimes I can see the Six of Wands as someone who can be attention-seeking at times. But I don't necessarily feel that with this person, but we'll get all the cards out and see. Okay, so how you view this person, Libra. Uh, four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So, um, I feel like that you do, there's a sense of sneakiness. Here, okay and like I said these have different depictions than the normal tarot so you see this person here is kind of in the background all right and then this woman is sleeping and he is up to no good here so <laughs> for some of you that's how you view this person it's kind of up to no good or maybe you can't trust them all the time but yet there's a want to hold on to this relationship or this person is wanting to hold on to you okay Someone wants more equal give and take in the relationship, you know, and I feel there's a sense of stinginess here. Like I said, there's one partner that's more dominating than the other one. Okay. So how this person views you, Libra. Ooh, I only wanted two cards. I got four. Okay. So they view you as the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, High Priestess. Wee wee. Okay, so this is a very interesting reading so far. You definitely have past history with this person. This is not someone new, okay? Um, because this person uh, views you as part of their past or as having history together. I feel like this person sees you as a very independent personality, okay, to the point that I feel sometimes you may neglect the partnership. Um, 
Because I do feel like sometimes, Libra, you're confused in how much energy to put in. Okay. But overall, they see you as the Ten of Cups. Very positive. Somebody that potentially could bring them a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. Some of you have children together, literally. For others of you, they envision that with you. Okay. I think this person also feels like there's something you're keeping to yourself. And like I said, I sense sneaky behavior here. And there's a cover-up or confusion for some of you. So I'm definitely going to clarify this. Um, the other way I can see this is just they see you as someone who is tapped into their intuition. Okay. Yeah. I can see where this is going. <laughs> but let me get all the cards out and then I'm going to break it down and get even more specific. So towards the end of the month, what is the overall energy? You have the Knave of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the um, Nine of Wands here. So I feel like, you know, towards the end of the month, there is a, a new beginning here, a wanting to cooperate, wanting to work on things, wanting to talk things out. Someone's very skeptical, though. Like I said, I sense somewhat of trust issues here. <laughs> and I'm having a hard time pinpointing where that's coming from, so let's see. Uh, person you're dealing with towards the end of June. Okay. They have the King of Wands, Queen of Cups over here. So, this is a very, very interesting reading. Libra. As an energy... I feel discontentment over here. Uh, also, temper issues. Okay. Some of you literally might be dealing with a fire sign, particularly a Leo. That can be Aries Sag or water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. To be honest with you, I have all, all the elements out. Okay. So keep in mind, it's a general reading. Um, I'm going to have to clarify this. There's something going on here. That there's other, there's either two other people involved into this situation. There's just too many people showing up for this being a you versus them reading. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something else here. <laughs> so hold on. I'm going to be very honest with you. This is the most complex reading I've done for June so far. And there's more than one group of you here. Okay. There's, I'm going to go with the most specific, obvious group first. Just keep in mind, you could be in one of the groups or all of the groups. Um, but I could tell you right now, group one. There is um, either communication that's come through recently or will be coming through this month that causes turmoil, confusion. I don't feel it's truthful communication. Um, I feel that there's a lot of people meddling into this relationship. Okay, I have one, two, three court cards out, three people here. Okay, so 
I feel like there's definitely being something withheld. And I, I wanted to know what this was about. And there's a very obvious message here, Libra. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you have past history with this person. They've had issues in the past with attention-seeking behavior. Okay? To the point that you now have trust issues. Okay? And it's like you want to work on things because you've invested a lot of yourself into this person. But your intuition is hard to ignore. Okay? This person sees you in a very positive light. They see you independent. They know you can take care of yourself. Okay? They see happiness with you and a family with you. So what's the issue then? Well, the issue is this person broke your trust in the past. Okay? Might have been behaving like a single person when they were committed. Um, and if not that, then they may have secretly been moving money around or something to do with finances that really pissed someone off. Because <laughs> it's like we're a team. Like we're supposed to talk about these things and you didn't talk to me about it. And so now I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, for some of you, there's involvement here with other people or another person. This is very similar to the last reading I did. So at the end of the month, Libra, I see you wanting new beginnings. I'm seeing you want cooperation. Okay. You're still very skeptical of this person, but it's this isn't someone new to you. This is someone you have a lot of history with. And so I feel like you want to work on it, right? Now, this person's energy is all over the place. All over the place. Specifically towards the end of June. They go from wanting to be in control, to angry, to detached, to jealous, to over-emotional. And I really couldn't get to the heart of why. Like I said, for some of you... They're very frustrated with the situation because they know that they've lost some trust here and it puts them for some reason on the defensive. Do you know what I'm saying? Have you ever confronted anybody that's full of shit? Excuse my language. And like their response is to immediately attack you or go on the defense. Uh you know, turn it around on you. That's what I feel is occurring here. And why do they do that? Well, they do that because they know they're dead ass wrong. And <laughs> they don't want to admit it. You know, it's a bit of an ego trip. It's denial. Because this person is feeling a lot of emotions underneath. A lot of disappointment, too. Uh, within themselves, I think. So, there. I actually see, for those of you where this is another person involved in the relationship... The other person has a person. You know what I'm saying? So, for some of you, this is a relationship between you and this person. And then they've involved another person that is in a, that and that is in a relationship with another person. So, there's four. Do you see what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to be cheating. It could just be, you know, your partner has a friend that's coupled and they're meddling or... So, something involved in this somehow. For some of you, it is cheating. You know, there might be another cup. There might be someone that is linked to you that is also linked to someone else. And let me tell you, if that if you're falling in that group, 
listen, I don't hold any judgment, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's, um, it's going to get very complicated. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? So, and I see for some of you, that's definitely what's occurring here. It's most definitely going to cause a lot of instability, particularly on the person you're dealing with side. Over here, this person feels alone, left out. Okay, that's falling on your side. It's heartache here. Okay. So I did not do this for the other signs, but I'm gonna get some guidance for this situation. Because like I said, this is, there's a lot going on here. So, um, and I know I said I was going to do groups, but to be honest with you, I kind of did break it down into two different ways. If it's not other people and cheating involved and it's financial issue, like what the uh, cover up or the miscommunication is about is related to instead finances that something that was withheld either either um, something to deal with money that was being lied about or there's drama around then I just feel there's still a lot of people involved okay like there's a person here that wants money out of your mate <laughs> that's external to your relationship and it's causing a lot of instability towards the end of the month. And you you might be helping your partner work on this situation or provide them some type of support. Okay. That's just a few of you in the other group. For those of you where this is a four-party situation and there's cheating going on and you're coupled and they're coupled and everybody's coupled, uh, that's who I'm going to get advice for. So what is the advice here? Well, I feel like you're holding on because you have a lot of love here. There's a lot of love in this relationship. Like I said, some of you share a home or children together, or you saw that potential. So it's really hard to let go of something when we've already envisioned it. You know what I'm saying? This person over here is having a really hard time. A really hard time, Libra. They are stuck. <laughs> Seriously stuck and stressing towards the end of June. It's... It's crazy because they start the month of June in a very positive energy. And then things get discombobulated here towards the middle. Now, I see you being the opposite. You're kind of starting off the month a little not quite in your element. But then towards the end of the month, you become more stable. And so I wanted to get guidance here, but I'm still not getting anything. Yeah, this person is worried about being defeated, having conflict. I think that whatever the situation is about, their intuition has already picked up on it in the beginning of June, so they kind of know that this shit storm's getting ready to come. Okay. <laughs> or you know that. The message here uh, for you is the Hanged Man and the Ace of Cups, which is seeing things from a different perspective and being in love. But being in love doesn't always mean it's about the other person. This could also mean, you know, loving yourself. I think there is enlightenment coming for you this month. You know, a need to see things from different angles. Gain a different perspective here. I have a Justin Bieber song in my head right now. So, <laughs> I 
Maybe you should go and love yourself. No offense to Justin Bieber, but not my favorite. Not my favorite song. <laughs> but that's what popped into my head when I looked at this card in specific, which is the Ace of Cups. I didn't see this as loving someone else. I saw this as loving yourself. But, um... Please do come back in June and let me know what is going on with this situation. I feel like in order for you to maintain control of yourself, then that is the message, is to try and stay neutral, I heard, or that's what popped into my mind. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that in this situation, but um, kind of taking a neutral approach, making sure that you are also getting the full truth, because I feel like you are not getting the full truth. Like I said, I saw deceptive co communication coming in um, here, and that's kind of how everything starts spawning. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a domino effect after that. And so there's definitely a need to dig a little bit deeper. Make sure you have looked at it from all perspectives. Okay. Because somebody's trying to get attention here. And that's really what it boils down to. Attention-seeking behavior. So, like I said, the zodiac signs I have out, I have literally a million people here, it seems. <laughs> like I said, specifically uh, four. That's including you. So, you plus three others. And the predominant signs I see is Earth, particularly a Taurus. Could be Capricorn Virgo, though. I see a fire sign here, Aries Leo Sag, and water, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So you may be dealing specifically with those three elements, or you might have those elements somewhere within your chart. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, and or that could just be the energy you're holding this month. So please do let me know, Libra. I wish you all of the very best, and I love you so much. Till next time.